Howdy folks, Husband here of Husband and Wife Gamers, and I interrupt what was scheduled to be the release of my next Blast from the Past video game history episode on Ancient Roman City Builders to instead bring you information from a PC Gamer interview with Rod Humble, creator of Life by You. Apologies in advance, since this is a breaking story and I'm making this on a short turnaround, a lot of the visuals will be recycled from previous videos and from the article itself. Really quickly before we get started, please hit like and subscribe if you want to stay notified on these kinds of developments or if you enjoy content about Paradox games, indie games, and video gaming history, as we cover that kind of thing a lot around here and would love to see you back sometime. Anyways, let's get to the interview. Quick three-sentence background for those who may not be in the know yet. 1. Rod Humble, former executive in charge of The Sims 2 and 3, has been heading the work on the upcoming Paradox Life Simulator called Life by You. 2. This game is set to release for early access in September. And three, it includes such amazing features as an open world, fully customizable objects, interactions, and conversations, as well as the dev tools necessary to make tons of custom content that will ship with the base game. Now the new information from the PC Gamer interview. Article writer Tyler Wilde quotes Mr. Humble as saying this about the development tools being shipped with the game. If you want to make an expansion pack that's better than ours, go for it. This game is yours and you don't need anyone's permission to stream it, to do whatever it is you want with your creations. And that's the way our business model is. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yes, this is Andrew Wilson from Electronic Arts, and I'd like to report shots fired. I covered this in my last video about how Life by You doesn't just represent competition for The Sims, but possibly an entire paradigm shift in the way that games are developed, marketed, and distributed. How the paradox way might mean a return to players having more ownership and control of their games. But now this serves as confirmation. Paradox is trying to change things with Life by You, and the rest of the industry needs to recognize that, because if all goes well, their business models will become obsolete, and this will put them at risk if a competitor comes along using the Paradox model. But in that previous video, I only scratched the surface of how much Paradox is trying to change the dynamic here. For example, The Sims collects game usage data telemetry on everyone who plays, as do many other games now. It's how stats are tracked and how game companies try to milk the analytics to see what features they should add next to keep people playing for longer. For example, EA says that your Sims woohooed a total of 289 million times in 2022 across all gameplays. Rod Humble says this about Life by You. There's no in-game telemetry gathering data that could, for example, go to a hostile government. I mean, seriously, imagine some of the countries out there where homosexuality is a crime. Telemetry from your gameplay can reveal that you once had a homosexual sim and Imagine what that would do to you in Iran. As article writer Tyler Wilde points out, anonymization and data security are never perfect. A great example of this is that my most recent debit card number was just stolen, even though that card was only issued to me the other day, went straight into my safe, and has never left it, and its number was never used by me anywhere, meaning the bank had a breach and didn't notify me, or just doesn't know. So I'm glad any time I can support a program that wants less of my private information, instead of more. Well done, Mr. Humble. Good on you, mate. Additionally, in Life by You, the lifestyle and political philosophies of some game designer in California doesn't dictate what your game world looks and plays like. Mr. Humble says he has personally set the default settings for things like racial makeup and gender distribution as an even mix to start, but that players will have full control over such things. In his own words, Mr. Humble says, if you live in Brazil and you're like, well, people don't look like this in Brazil, then just go ahead and change the racial spread. Mr. Humble also says, quote, you can do that with age as well, and as I said, gender. And so by doing that, we want people to be able to make places that look like where they live, that resonate with them, as opposed to just copies of Northern California. <laughs> you wanna make a village where you're the only male? Go ahead. Wanna recreate Youngtown, Arizona, which is the most ironically named town in the world? By all means, populate the entire place with geriatrics on oxygen tanks. You get to craft the world that you want to play in. You aren't forced to play in someone else's carefully curated and politically correct sandbox. Don't get me wrong, if you want to build a rainbow village where everyone lives in peaceful PC harmony, more power to you. That's what's great about freedom of choice. And Life by You recognizes that with more freedom and flexibility comes more gameplay opportunity, comes more enjoyment and more experimentation with all the possibilities that each custom world can provide. Last but not least, a word about the most popular category of mods for The Sims games, adult content. Here's what Will Wright had to say about it in Sims 1. I think it's just another example of the fans trying to push the game in every possible direction. You know, they'll, we'll give them these customization tools, and then they naturally want to kind of push it further out and see where the boundaries are. And so they're really mapping the boundaries further out than we did, which is great. Um, and there's certain directions you know, we could not take the game in, other ones we didn't really want to take the game in. 
um, that the fans can, uh, in a lot of cases, take it. But, you know, again, it's totally voluntary, so people are out there collecting this stuff, and it's, you know, it's just like, you know, going out and buying a magazine or something. You can choose, you know, which magazines you want to read and which ones you don't. As he says, the fans can take the game where they want to, even if it's further than the developer wants to, or legally can. And so it is Rod Humble's view. As the article states, Life by You is specifically designed to make adult mods possible, even going so far as to have built-in nudity, defaulting to censored with a toggle in the settings allowing for uncensored gameplay. For those wondering, no, there will be no visible sex scenes included in the game by the developers. From the information given in the article, it's also not even clear how graphic the intended nudity is. It could be anything from Barbie doll without clothes, to Crusader King's leaf-covered crotches, all the way up to walking blow-up sex dolls, or anything in between. I suppose we'll know more on that at a later date. While all this openness and freedom may seem freeing to some and worrying to others, there is one feature that has been confirmed as having been implemented and then removed due to social pressures so perhaps more of these planned features might be taken out once the trolls start doing their complaining. Which feature got removed, you may ask? Illnesses were a planned feature at first, but they were quickly shelved as development of the game really took off during a global pandemic. Also, violence is not currently modeled in the game, and none of the provided dev tools support the possibility of violent actions, according to Mr. Humble. However, Mr. Humble does say that if a modder were to add it to their game, then that's their prerogative. Personally, I find it refreshing to know that not only will the customization possibilities be there, but that the freedom of gameplay is built in by design, and that Paradox has doubled down on its philosophy of letting players have control over their own gameplay. Hopefully this is something that only gains in popularity around the industry. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing about this announcement or your favorite feature of the game is. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.